Okay, there we go. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Pokemon. Oh god, I already messed up the intro. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another video by TBG Hydreigon. And today I am. Oh god, you can't even see my face. Oh god. Okay, well, it's the closest that I can do. I. I don't know why I put the screen record that small, but hell, heck. Um, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another TBG Hydreigon video, and today I am going to do a reaction to the brand new Sun and Moon trailer that was announced for the U.S. May 10th. Shigeru said it, said it, Kuro said it, and they did not troll us. We got the video that we wanted for so many months now. Sun and Moon. All right. Um, I'm going to touch lightly on like the starters and their more or less their Japanese names and the what and their inspiration. Sorry for the annoyance behind there, but yeah, live with brothers. All right. So. Without further ado, let's get started. Alright, good. The all new adventure you've been waiting for. Alright. So, I pause it at the wrong time. Oh, come on. Please, computer. Alright, guys. So, the starters. There are the starters. They have been announced, and. But before I touch on that, apparently this region is called the Alola region. And. For those of you. We don't know anything in this world. Alola is just one letter off from being Aloha. A Hawaiian greeting or salutations, like it means hello and goodbye. But I did some research on the on the um, the professors, and apparently their names are also named after trees. But let, okay, let, let me see if I can move back a bit. See where he is. There. Alright. Game footage is not final. Alright, so. Kukui! 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 Well, that's a Mexican monster, I think. I don't know. But Kukui! is apparently a tree in Hawaii. Not too sure about all the details. Alright, so apparently Kukui is the professor's assistant as it seems like it. Alright. Once more, I paused too early. Alright. Alright, so, Rowlet is the grass flying type. Uh, the grass starter, I think, I, yeah, I am 100% sure that this is the first, the second, actually, the second duo type starter that we've seen. The first one being Bulbasaur way back in 1995 Generation 1. I think that's, I think that's pretty cool. So, Rowlet, take out the R. Take out the R, it's just Owlet. I I'm not too sure what the R could mean. Maybe rough Owlet, Rowlet? I don't know. Uh stupid speculation, but still. It's it's designed like an owl. And it's a grass flying. And apparently its Japanese trademark name is Mokuro. Moku meaning wood and Kuro meaning owl, which is a fair 
a description of what we got. It's a grass owl. Honestly, of the three starters, this one is my least favorite. Um, Litten, it looks amazing. Oh god, it's over here. Okay, pretend that pretend that you didn't hear me. All right. Mo moving on. So apparently, now you can besides the mega evolution, like when your trainer goes like this, like mega evolve. You can see your trainer, and according to the Koro Koro trailer, um. There can be spectators, and each part, and the HP bar is different. Also, with a, a scratch on the top of it. Uh, who knows what that could mean? But I, I think it, I think it looks okay. I think it's not bad. All right. So apparently, Rowlet. <laughs> what is that? It's like all you can make out is the O. So Rowlet apparently knows a brand new move. We're not sure if any other Pokemon can learn it, but so far it's unique to only Rowlet. This move is called Leafage, which I guess could be the equivalent to Ember and Water Gun. I mean, I'm not sure if you would consider Vine Whip one, but I don't Vine Whip. You would get Vine Whip later on in the game, and just and it just makes sense that Leafage would be the the grass equivalent to the starter attack. All right, now let's move on to the next Pokemon. Litten. It's it's the fire a uh, cat Pokemon, and its oil its fur is. Not drenched, but like covered in in some layers of oil, which he licks. He licks in order to like use that as fuel for his fire type attacks. And so, name breakdown lit. It's lit. The L I T T could mean for little. Which look at him, he's pretty small. And then the itten is obviously kitten. Japanese, it's in ja in Japanese. The sun and moon. Uh oh god, I don't even know what I'm saying. I don't have a script or anything. I'm just doing this straight from my mind. The Japanese name for litten is nyabi, which nya could mean which. Oh god, nya means meow. Which we could easily relate to a cat, and then Niabi at, and then the Abby could be like taken from Tabby, which is another cat, and then I'm not sure which one of them, which one of the name parts would do fire. So like a fire cat. I don't know. I don't really know, but. For me, Litten is my favorite out of the three starters. It just looks amazing based on design. And by its coloration, it looks like it could be a fire dart. But according to many people, they have like inspected like the official Japanese Sun and Moon website. And they found grass flying, like for the typings, they found, they took the pictures. There were six typings. Rowlet Grass Flying. The third was Fire, I believe. Fourth being Ground. So, this could mean that Litten could evolve into some sort of Fire Ground type Pokemon. Of course, it would make it like extremely weak to water. It would be like another Empoleon, sort of. You, you become weak. How, how would I do this? Okay, so Empoleon is a water steel. I'm not sure, but it just become weaker than the three. But I just like its overall design. So yeah, that's Litten. And now the final Pokemon. Oh yeah. 
Poplio, the cute is definitely the cutest one out of the three. So apparently, Litten, its fur balls are on fire, and when it licks its uh, when it licks its fur, uh, the oil get uh, it goes into Litten, and that's used for fuel as it's for fire attacks. All right, third and final starter, Pop Leo. Uh, this is the water type, the water type starter, obviously, and. Pop in Hawaiian it means ball. Well, not pop, but like uh, it's like some word involving pop. And then Leo is a part of the word that means the Hawaiian monk seal or dog that runs in rough waters. But I honestly think it's really cute. I don't know why it's getting so much hate. It's getting more or less like the Oshawa treatment, if I'm not mistaken. But Still, um, it has sort of like a clownish design, which I think is really cute, and it can create bubbles and use them for special varieties instead of just using it for bubbles and bubble beam. It could use it to trap opponents as it was shown in the official sites. You see Pop Leo making a bubble and trapping Rowlet inside. Oh, what? That was horrible. But, yeah, um, its Japanese name is Ashimori. And once you decipher the name, it means like ball and seal, or sea lion, and water, of course. But, remember when I said that some people have decrypt, like, inspected the Pokemon official website? And they found out uh, the ground typing after the fire, or with the fire. Apparently they found a fighting type with the water. So it could mean that Pop Leo becomes a water fighting. Which, come to think of it, there, there only has been two. Holly Wrath and Keldeo. It would be nice to see another one, but... Honestly, just looking at it, it, <laughs> it looks, it, it's strange to think of it becoming a water fighting, but Holy Wag did it. Uh, why can't Pop Leo? Alright, on to the next section. There he is, all mighty proud. Alright, this is the Alola region. Oh my god, I was literally seconds late. Alright, so this is the Alola region, and it is, oh my goodness, very similar to one of the, to one of Hawaii's islands. Its name starts with an O, I can't remember this. Why didn't you write this down? Okay, but anyways, yeah, the Alola region is based off, like, Carlos was with France. He's more or less based off one of Hawaii's islands with the volcano and everything. It so you're running around town and there's the yellow truck that we saw in the first uh, Sun and Moon trailer. And here it seems like you have a, a brand new rival. And there is a female protagonist displaying each the sun legend, the moon legends. Why do you lag so much? I hate. And there's the box arts. All right. So if you were to pause right now, please. What if I were to hit play? Alright, so let me lower the volume really quick so I can talk. It's completely muted. Alright. Alright, so apparently, the Sun Legend in its Japanese name, or at least the trademark, it was found. 
is named Sol Galileo. For those of you who can speak Spanish, Sol obviously means sun, hence it being the sun legendary. And Leo is lion. And yeah, it does get the lion part down. And I've seen a lot of coverage videos over over the legendaries and their designs and their names, but many oh no, come on. Alright, but my goodness, I hate you, computer! No! Why do you curse me? Okay, so. Um. Let me just do this. And then move my face over here. Yes, it's a wondrous Pikachu. I love it. So, Soul Got Leo is. The fight is the sun legend, and sun is sun. Leo is lion, but many people have overlooked the fact about Ga, the Ga in Sol Galileo. Now, if you take the last five letters, Galileo, doesn't that remind you of someone? Galileo, probably. He was a famous astronomer way back. Before your great 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 grandparents were born. Uh he discovered uh not really discovered, but like helped improve astrology, and he is one of the most important figures in astronomy to this day. And if once I move my face out of the way, I can make my face even bigger. No counts. Alright. So yeah. Galileo, Galileo, I can, I can, only I would, um, see this, but, oh my god, this, 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 this computer, I, I need a new one, alright, but, now let's talk about the moon legendary, we saw its attack in the video, and if you go to the Japanese one, you can see a small clip of the Sun Legendary using his. But... Oh my god, can you not do this to me, please? But the, sun, the Moon Legendary's name is Lunala. And for those of you once more who can speak Spanish, Luna is Moon, Ala is Wing, which is close to what we got. And its inspiration is highly like possibly a bat, the way how rigid he is not rigid but like how curvy the wings are. It's kind of reminiscent in bats. So yeah, that's mostly how I see it. And leave your thoughts down below on the sun and moon starters and legendaries. Whatever. Thank you. Now can you please just Pause. Can you pause? You can pause. Okay. YouTube hates me. So yeah, guys, this is my uh, early reaction video. Just like lightly in-depth material to the starters and the legends. So, uh, bland exit. Thank you, everybody, for watching. If you if by a miracle you did happen to enjoy this video, leave a thumbs, leave a like, subscribe if you're dumb enough. I, I hate my life. I don't do that great YouTube videos like Tyranitar Tube or popular MMOs. I don't do that kind of videos. I'm super separate, mostly because of this computer. I need a new one, and then I can actually start recording better videos. And games, possibly. And this is the reason why I really haven't uploaded many computer games. Uh, Blue has been delayed for a bit. And yeah, um, yes, I am experiencing interruptions. So yeah, guys, that is my coverage over the Sun and Moon Starters. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Smash that like button, smash that subscribe button if you want. Optionable, but for me it'll be amazing. For you, it'll be it'll be bland. But I'll give you some information on Sun and Moon 
every now and then whenever we get new information. So yeah, until next time, the Blue Gaming Hydrogen, come on, webcam. Alright, let me do this slower. The Blue Gaming Hydrogen, signing out. And cut.